Hello everyone, today let us uh, use a Scriptner to do something uh, interesting. Yes, we do a lot of interesting things using uh, Scriptner. Now, let us say you are using a custom jQL function or basically you are basically using any jQL function that may or may not be from uh, Scriptner for Jira on server. We are talking about server. Or maybe you want to identify all the filters where a specific custom field is uh, being used. So let us say you have to do something with your filters. Now, let me give you one example. So let us say you have a, um, a filter, like you may have a lot of filters in your, like maybe thousands of filters in your Jira instance, where let us say your users are using this custom jQL function called has links. So basically it will return all the issues where you have uh, links. And let us say you save it. So let me just save it. Issues with links. Now what normally happens when you save the filter of basically any filter, it will be saved in Jira in a database table. Now the thing is that when you're using uh, these filters, uh, you may need to do some audit. Maybe you, are, you want to find out, for example, the usage of these custom JQL functions uh, that may or may not be from Scriptner. So let us use Scriptner to find out uh, and basically search within these uh, within these uh, filters. And as I mentioned before, the filters are actually stored in database table as it is, as a plain text. So you can actually do a database search on them. And you can do that uh, from within Scriptner's uh, uh, UI using a feature called as resources. So in this video, I'll not talk about uh, what all you can do with resources. Basically using uh, this uh, feature, you can actually create a connection to a database. And uh, when you do that, you also have the option to preview the outcome of uh, the query that you can use. So if you want, you can uh, let me just you know copy the query, one of the query that I want to basically run and uh, show you guys. So there is a table called search request. And if you uh, let us say create a new database connection, so let us let us just do it from the from the very beginning. I'll I'll cancel it, and uh, let us click on the create uh, resource. So when you click on the create resource, you can connect to an existing database. You can uh, connect to the database of this application, or you can also connect to maybe an LDAP. But for for this example, we'll connect to this application's uh, database, and uh, we'll write a query. So the query is a select star from search request, which is of course, it can return, it will return all the um, all the filters that you have. And uh, you can see here that we recently, like we just now added one uh, and saved one, Q, one filter with this particular uh, JQL issue function in has length. Now what you can do is of course, you can uh, type in here, uh, where re request content like, and you can uh, type in your uh, your exact, um, I mean, w basically w whatever you want to search. So let us say if I want to search for uh, any filter with the uh, issue function, so that is a very clear indication that uh, this particular filter is uh, using, uh, or these filters are using uh, some custom jql function that may be from let us say scriptna and of course this is just one example um, you may have uh, you may have uh, let us say a case where you are doing something with your jira instance maybe you are getting rid of your custom fields you are renaming them so you may want to also know the filters where that particular uh, custom field is referenced and uh, you can potentially do it using this uh, simple jql and of course you can directly look in the database but today i wanted to show you that you know you can do that using uh, this uh, resource feature in uh, within jira within scriptner for jira on server so we will probably no we will definitely uh, take a look at other aspects of resources i don't really remember if i did talk about it in the past. I think I did. But I guess uh, I will, I, I don't mind repeating myself. Maybe I'll uh, think of one uh, good example, where the resources 
and basically a way uh, basically we'll see how the connection pool to a specific table or to a specific query can be used in your jira instance so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today thank you very much